to Iowa now where Letha Slauson pleads guilty. She's the mother accused of faking her daughter's cancer, giving her dangerous drugs. Initially charged with 20 counts ranging from child endangerment to first degree theft, Slauson pleads guilty to just five charges. KTV News Watch Evans Melissa Fry joins us live with details on the deal. Well, Rob Slauson faces 21 years behind bars, admitting today to poisoning her five year old daughter in order to fake her illness, collecting thousands of dollars in charity from surrounding communities. And although accepting responsibility, Slauson never said she was sorry. Letha Slauson appeared nervous as she waited for Judge Mark Eveloff to bring the court to order. The judge wasted no time getting to the point, questioning her on each individual charge she was pleading guilty to. Count three, child endangerment. This involves a nupogen. Tell me what you did in that regard while you're pleading guilty to that charge. I gave it up to Riley. The nupogen? Yeah. Okay, and you did not have a prescription to uh, give that to Riley? No. In all, Slauson pled guilty to two counts of felony child endangerment for giving her daughter the nupogen and cannabis oil, one count of unlawful possession of a prescription drug, and a reduced charge of felony second degree theft. The judge then released Slauson to the care of her mother until sentencing, where she is to have no contact with her husband or children. Slauson has been ordered to have a pre sentence evaluation and a mental health review, something her attorney applauds. I think. Everyone out there knows that if there isn't some issues, she would have done it. Uh, this isn't something somebody doesn't have some mental health problems would do. As for Slauson's victim, her daughter is reportedly in good health. It appeared as though the uh, lasting effects, if you will, from both the THC cannabis oils as well as the Nubigen were not uh, long term. Uh, the, we did receive information back from the doctor uh, who had conducted the medical examination that Riley had. Uh, recovered, if you will, fairly quickly. Today's plea agreement did not address Slauson's sentencing. That's going to happen next month. Again, she could get anything from probation to 21 years in state prison. Back to you. Thanks, Melissa.